Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Cassette Beasts. This game was released on Steam on April 26, 2023. Its regular price is $25.99 Canadian, or your regional equivalent, and it's developed by a Bitten Studio and published by Raw Fury. This is a game I've been really looking forward to checking out for a while now. This is a game a bit like Pokemon. Uh, the store page description says, Collect awesome monsters to use during turn-based battles in this open-world RPG. Combine any two monster forms using Cassette Beast's fusion system to create unique and powerful new ones. Sounds really cool. Sounds like, you know, like Pokemon Infinite Fusions, which is like a, a fan game where you can fuse Pokemon together. But it is like a, a monster collecting and, and battling game. I love Pokemon. I don't love modern Pokemon games, but I've played every Pokemon game, so... At this point, I'm looking for alternatives to Pokemon, because I can't stand new Pokemon games. So whenever like a, a monster battler collector comes out, I'm super interested in it. And I'm thinking this is going to be quite a good one. It is currently sitting at 97% positive ratings on Steam. Overwhelmingly positive. It, it should be pretty good. Um, I haven't started it yet. I wanted to start it in this video. Let's check out Cassette Beasts. Okay, we can make our character here. Okay, there's me. It looks like I'm in my pajamas, but uh, <laughs> that is John. He's ready to become a Cassette Beast's master. I'm sure that's what it's called in this, right? My god, I've just washed ashore on the beach. Harbor Town Beach. You can jump. You can dash. Man, look at look at the uh, the art style. Very earthbound-y, I guess, I would say. Um, I forgot to look. Oh, I can't press start anymore. Um, there's some really cool... Um, like, sort of accessibility options, I guess. Sort of, um, I don't know, just being able to tailor the game how you want it. Um, so we'll look at those as soon as I get access to the start menu again. Harbor Town Outskirts. I found a chest. I think this is, like, pretty much just north of where I, I spawned. I've got a hundred wood, my god. Okay, this is not how I was expecting this to start, to be honest. <laughs> look, I think I can see a cassette beast out there. A snake. My god, there's a cone behind me. Look at this thing. Hey, strangers don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. I've got a, a little cassette Walkman thing. Neat. Quick question, what's your aesthetic? What's my aesthetic, spooky or sweet? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know, let's go for spooky. Yeah. I can see that, in that case, take this. Ooh, Banshee. Oh, is that my first... My first, my first... Monster? A Banshee. So it looks like there's 120... Uh, monsters, I guess. That's, that's what we'll call them for the time being. The eerie moans of the wild banshee at night have led many to believe they're restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They're very much alive, they just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? <laughs> That's great. And we can learn more about... I don't know, a bit more about their bio there. Okay, th this is probably gonna let us do a battle. <laughs> it's like a little weird, follow my lead. Okay, I've got my headphones on. My god, she's turned into the monster, do I turn into banshee? Oh, okay. So I can fight. Look at this UI. Jeez, this is cool. Uh, oh, what's record do? I'm sure they'll explain that. A okay, fight. I've got smack. Sheer luck. Oh, that's just a passive. Okay. This is super cool. Okay, yeah, we'll just smack this uh, traffic crab. Oh, and we control our ally. Okay. She can do spit, dodge, or call for help. Call for help sounds funny. We're doing that. Smack. We've killed the traffic crab. The battle was won. Oh, so she was a sirenade. Maybe that was the sweet, the sweet aesthetic. Also, I think Banshee just learned a new move. I'm trying to figure out this UI. It looks like he's just learned Battering Ram, which sounds pretty good. Oh, and we got a plastic. Okay, great. You can unequip the move if you want. That's a cool way of doing the moves. You handled yourself pretty well there. What's your name? I'm Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. He was wearing pajamas. <laughs> um, apparently this is already, like, totally 100% playable on Steam Deck, so... 
I'm most likely going to be playing a lot of this on my Steam Deck. Um, God, the Steam Deck is just the best thing I've ever bought, honestly. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Where am I? What is this place? Uh, this is Harbor Town. Welcome to Harbor Town. What was a chest on top of that house? <laughs> Your new home? My new home? I already have a home. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so good. Oh no, he's passed out. Ah uh, darn, there, there was a, a setting in the menu, which is where you can turn off the lyrics, and I really should have done that. I didn't think about it. Um, which is great that you have that option. Um, but I just don't want to be talking over lyrics, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Wirral. It's not strictly on Earth, at least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. Oh, and the music just cuts off. This is my house, by the way, apparently. Castaway's been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. A century! <laughs> We'll be okay, there's community in Harbor Town, we help each other out. It's not a bad life. Okay, you've convinced me. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, okay, so if we turn them back on, turn the lyrics back on, you can hear them. And then if I turn them off, it'll turn to, like, synth instead of the vocals. I'll just do it now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I think I probably prefer it without the vocals, honestly. They're, they're like, a little bit... Uh, immersion breaking. <laughs> um, but these are the graphic settings. There's not a ton of stuff. Um, it's okay. There's sort of enough. Nothing past 60 FPS. Um, and just like a couple of toggles, pretty much. Not a ton. Um, but then there's these really cool, you know, accessibility stuffs with with no screen shake stuff like that. But the the scaling options are ridiculous. Like your AI Spartanus scaling. It's not just like, you know easy, difficult, recommended, or whatever. It's a, literally a slider that you can change to completely scale the game as much as you want, which is incredible. You can, like, turn off level scaling if you want. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah, but what a, what a cool bunch of settings those two are. That is great. Okay, so we've got a map here as well. Um, there's also, like, a mini-map. There's local multiplayer in this as well. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, mini-map in the bottom right. So it looks like I've got a quest over on the right there. Um, I was told I had new clothes. May I go to my closet or something? X. Aha! Okay. Top. Wow, you can just totally change yourself whenever you want. <laughs> oh, I see. You can, like, completely change the color and everything. I can wear an apron if I want. A vest jacket, a poncho. Poncho sounds pretty cool. And I can wear trousers, shorts, or a skirt. That's great. There's no there's no black option for the pants, though. I guess he's just gonna wear, like, jeans. <laughs> With some black shoes? I don't think it's black. <laughs> this, color, this game does not have the color black. There we go, that's sort of it. That's my guy. <laughs> I think he looks great. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got my bed. Doesn't look like you can rebind the controller controls, unfortunately. Uh, you can rebind the keyboard controls, but not the controller controls, because um, I would probably definitely change... I don't know, would I use jump? <laughs> I want interact on A. Yeah, there's actually no way to rebind um, controller controls, which is a bit annoying. I would definitely like to rebind that. So something that could hopefully be added in due course, because the con uh, keyboard bindings are already there. I got the Harbor Town gate key. Sweet. And she's following me, that's great. Okay, so open. I've lost my key, oh no. Uh, we're just out here on patrol, pretty much. Uh, we gotta go check out that bit just above us. But I'm just I'm just exploring a bit now. Oh! I drowned. <laughs> Another weird thing is that, um, I don't know, like, one of the sound effects, like the button click sound effect, is only in the right channel, which is like really throwing me off. Um, like if I press A here, you hear like a really faint click, but it's only in the right channel. That's a really weird choice. <laughs> a spring heel. And like it, it, you can hear it better if we go in here. It's only in the right channel. Very, very strange. Okay, let's fight this spring heel. Hello. 
spring heal. Level four. Oh, okay, I'm guessing record is how you catch things. Because if I go to record, I need a blank tape and I don't have any. So I'm guessing that's how you catch stuff. So for now, we're just gonna beat the crap out of the spring heal. Okay, so this, the game, the combat uses action points. That's fine. Each party member gets two action points per turn. Extra one if they land a type advantaged attack. Okay. So battering ram needs three. So obviously I don't have enough for that. But smack is free. That's pretty good. And look, and now the, the clicking is only in the left channel. I don't like that at all. How do, I wish you could change that. I don't know if you can. Uh, let's smack this spring heal. And then Kaylee can... She can probably just spit on it. My god, Spring Heal did a smack. Yeah, I think my monster form can take it. Oh, so the up in the top left, the, the green bar is the monster's health. And the red bar is my health. So if the green bar goes down, I turn back into me. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, how good is my smack? 22. Okay, it's, it's pretty much dead. Um, let's just try Battering Ram. I think that will probably kill it. And battering ram. 49, yeah. We killed it. <gasps> we both leveled up. Uh, Sirenade learned Sonic Boom. I got a bunch of materials here. Yeah, there's no way to make the, the clicking only on the left channel. Or, like, mono or whatever. I, you know, I'm not surprised that there's no option for it, but I'm really surprised that's a feature. But very strange. Okay, we gotta activate this elevator. We gotta look for a switch somewhere. Oh, maybe inside here. Aha! We've solved a puzzle. <laughs> Haley is now my partner. Well, that's great. So we've unlocked Sirenade. Aha! Hey, hop on, Kaylee. Oh, see ya. We got another snaky thing. What's this guy? Carna Viper. Oh, he's got a cool mask. Oh, we don't heal between fights. I guess that makes sense for Pokemon style games. Uh, smack. And... Call for help. Why not? I want to see what that does. Oh no, Kaylee's poisoned. Okay, luckily this thing's pretty weak. No, call for help failed. Um, I think it's just going to die to... Um, a, a smack. All, all my guys are so slow. Oh, it just lived. That's okay, we did a spit. It is dead. Jeez. And sheep leveled and learned sharpen. That's great. Okay, well, I definitely don't have any uh, consumables to, to heal our party. Uh, so hopefully they'll be okay. Check tape. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. <laughs> Amazing. So edit stickers. I could take off any of these. And you can have six slots, I guess. I don't have any stickers. But yeah, I could like take these off and put them in my inventory. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, and you can rename them as well. Um, where is it? Check tape. Rename. I could rename my band sheep. That's cool. Um, whenever I like, I, I play one of these kinds of games or like a, a new new Pokemon game or whatever. I always like, um, I, I never name my Pokemon like the very first time I play with with new Pokemon because I want to see what all the the new names are. So that's how I'll play this one as well. I won't name anything because I want to see, you know. I think Bansheep is pretty funny, so I want to I want to see that. Uh, okay, let's do Smack. Oh, Squire. Again. Uh, let's get rid of the traffic crab with uh, Smack Spit. Uh-oh. He's pretty tough. He's got good defense, I guess. My god, Kaylee! Kaylee and your Sirenade, jeez. Okay, let's try Battering Ram this guy. And then... Ooh. Sonic Boom, why not? Okay, good, good. And then Sonic Boom! Oh my god, Sonic Boom was good. We did it. Excellent work, team. We got some plastic. Good stuff. I don't know how to heal us. I mean, do I just, like, go back to town? Oh! She's gonna tell me how to heal. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. Even though there's a... a... 
What a traffic crab right there. Well, that sounds wonderful. Thanks, Kaylee. Yes, please. Oh, we have to rest. Okay, well, we've got tons of wood. So that's fine. Oh, it's nighttime now. So maybe I didn't need to do that? Everybody's healed. Oh, it's got a night-day cycle. Jeez, well, we're doing this at nighttime now. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Hello. Let's fight him. It's another spring heal. Okay, we'll do smack. We'll do spit. Now we're probably going to do jump scare. My god. Then we're going to do the big party hit one. Sonic Boom or whatever it was. Although I think she has to do that the next turn. Jeez, I just healed poor Kaylee up. Leave her alone. Sonic Boom. I'm literally going to have to go back to the... <laughs> the campfire and rest up again. <laughs> oh, we got them both. Great stuff. Yay. More plastic. Okay, well, let's test how the, uh, the resting works. No, leave me alone. Okay, so I've just camped. I haven't rested. Well, I didn't mean to click that. Um, so we have now rested. So we're definitely going to be fully healed. Oh, look, we can probably, like, jump up here, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. I haven't seen you around before, let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Ooh! Rewind. That's so funny. Because it's a pencil. It's what you use to rewind tapes. Oh, there's a chest over here. And a guy we can talk to. Insomnia, new sticker, okay. Oh, they're caches from Rangers. Oh, a respool. Picks and rewinds a broken tape. Possibly like a revive, I would guess. That's good to know. Okay, can we two shot? How are they so fast? They're half my level. Let's get smacked. Or oh, is a spit gonna do it? I don't think so. Oh, it did, yes. Sweet, let's just, uh, we'll do battering ram. No reason not to. There's no such thing as PP in this. Yeah, how is everything so much faster than me? It's crazy. Oh, we one-shot the Carna Viper. Nice. Oh, and Sirenade's learned Provoke. Okay. okay. So if we do this lever... That's made this guy fly over. Hello. Okay. <gasps> Is she gonna teach me how to catch? Yay, basic tapes. Records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Okay. Something about the monsters on New Wirral. Well. When weakened, their essence can be recorded to, to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. I just realized they haven't taught me about, like, type matchups or anything yet. Okay, so dom Domino. <laughs> so we just have to record it right away? We don't even have to, like, lower its health? Sure. Dominoff. Oh, but I have to kill it? I guess so. Like, we're already set to record. So if we just beat it up now? Oh, I see. Now we use that as our turn. Interesting. So we'll just lower its health a bit, I guess. We did it. Possibly. I think we've got it. <laughs> that wasn't totally clear to me. But we got a Dominoff. They see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. Anything that can distract them from their noble duties of bright lights, such as lamps. Well, that's great. But the recording succeeds or not is down to chance. Several factors affect the probability of success. How much health it has, its level and rarity. How much damage you dealt it while recording. How much damage the person recording it took. Okay, that, that makes sense. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. That's great. Good to know. Try switching to the tape you just recorded. Oh, so we don't actually catch this, we just copy it, basically. <laughs> That's quite funny. So, Dominoth. Transform? There we go, I'm now Dominoth. Sweet. Let's... So if we smack it with the same type of move, I think it's still fine. I don't think it's, like, not effective or anything. Yeah, it was fine. Interesting. Yay, yeah, Dominoth leveled up. He's learned Zephyr. Uh, Bansheep has learned Bite. 
That looks very good. Heals the user a little bit. Great. Oh, and I can now fly. <laughs> Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. I can fly. You can now hold A to glide across long distances. Oh, okay. I see. Like that gap over there. Okay, well, it says go to the left, but I want to... Okay, I wanted to go along this one. We cannot. Fine, I'll go this way, Kaylee, jeez. Now we just have to fly across here. How did I... We <laughs> Just held A, I guess. Upper path. I'm just sliding down the... <laughs> thing there. Oh, we can glide across here, probably. If I uh, hadn't messed up, we probably could have. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this cute thing. Let's try and grab this lion. Pom bomb. He looks great. Okay, I'm gonna try and record this pom bomb. Pom bomb. Now you're just gonna beat it up for me, okay? I want a fire dog. 17% chance. That's okay. If we beat him up now, we might have a better chance. Air type attacks blow out fire type targets, reducing the strength of their future targets. Okay. So that's potentially some of the type matchup stuff. He's extinguished. Sticky tongue. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Recording failed. What if we try again? <laughs> bomb bomb. So now if we need use like a really strong one, I guess. Because we want to do more damage to it. I don't know if this is going to work. Still only 75% chance. Oh no, my chance has gone down. <gasps> Did we get it? We got it! Yay, pom bomb. Pom, -bom. pom bombs are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures of New World. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they would make quite good pets. Excellent. Yay! This thing looks great! Bomb bomb. It's dead. <laughs> Sweet! Okay, well I think I'm gonna have to leave the video there for now. I've uh, recorded for over half an hour. This was great. This is really cool. Um, didn't get into any of like, the fusion stuff. I, you know, we're still literally in the tutorial at this point. Um, so fusion stuff will probably come later. Um, I'm I'm sure I'm going to keep playing this on my Steam Deck, absolutely. Um, so there might be a follow-up video later at some point whenever I get to it. Uh, but yeah, this this was great. I can't wait to play more of this. There you go. That was a look at Cassette Beasts. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.